Welcome to Civil Engineering for Learners by Dr. K. Aravinthan. Waste Management. Disposal Options and Selection Criteria. The most common disposal option practiced currently in many countries is either uncontrolled dumping or dumping with moderate control. The environmental costs of uncontrolled dumping include the breeding of disease-causing vectors, example, flies, mosquitoes, and rodents, pollution, odor, and smoke. It identifies waste disposal constraints faced by municipal authorities of your locality should be noted that the option selected for waste disposal must mesh with the existing socio-cultural milieu, infrastructure, etc. Disposal Options Uncontrolled dumping or non-engineered disposal. In this method, wastes are dumped at a designated site without any environmental control. They tend to remain there for a long period of time, pose health risks, and cause environmental degradation. Due to the adverse health and environmental impact associated with it, non-engineered disposal is not considered a viable and safe option. Sanitary Landfill a sanitary landfill is a fully engineered disposal option in that the selected location or wasteland is carefully engineered in advance before it is pressed into service. Operators of sanitary landfills can minimize the effects of leachate and gas production through proper site selection, preparation, and management. This particular option of waste disposal is suitable when the land is available at an affordable price, and adequate workforce and technical resources are available to operate and manage the site. Three, composting. This is a biological process of decomposition in which organisms, under controlled conditions of ventilation, temperature, and moisture, convert the organic portion of solid waste into humus-like material. If this process is carried out effectively, what we get as the final product is a stable, odor-free soil conditioner. Generally, the option of composting is considered when a considerable amount of biodegradable waste is available in the waste stream and there is a use or market for composts. Centralized composting plants are possible if an adequate skilled workforce and equipment are available. Small-scale composting practices can be effective at the household level, but this needs public awareness. Four, incineration. This refers to the controlled burning of wastes at a high temperature, roughly 1,200 to 1,500 degrees Celsius, which sterilized and stabilizes the waste in addition to reducing its volume. In the process, most of the combustible materials such as paper or plastics get converted into carbon dioxide and ash. Incineration may be used as a disposal option when landfilling is not possible and the waste composition is highly combustible. An appropriate technology, infrastructure, and skilled workforce are required to operate and maintain the plant. Generally limited to hospital and other biological wastes. 5. Gasification. This is the partial combustion of carbonaceous material through combustion at high temperature, roughly 1000 degrees C, forming a gas comprising mainly carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen, hydrogen, water vapor, and methane, which can be used as fuel. Refuse-derived fuel, RDF. This is the combustible part of raw waste, separated for burning as fuel. Various physical processes such as screening, size reduction, magnetic separation, etc., are used to separate the combustibles. 7. Pyrolysis. This is the thermal degradation of carbonaceous material to a gaseous, liquid, and solid fraction in the absence of oxygen. This occurs at a temperature between 200 and 900 degrees C. The product of pyrolysis is a gas of a relatively high calorific value of 20,000 joules per gram with oils, tars, and solid burned residue. Selection Criteria With the help of proper frameworks and sub-frameworks, we can assess the effectiveness of each of the waste disposal options. 
A framework contains a list of issues and questions pertaining to the technical, institutional, financial, social, and environmental features of a waste disposal system to assess the capacity of a disposal option to meet the requirements. An appraisal of the waste disposal option must include the following. Technical. This feature, involving efficient and effective operation of the technology being used, evaluates the following components of a SWM system. Composition of wastes, example, type, characteristics, and quantity. Existing practices, example, collection, transport, and recycling process. Siting, example, location of the disposal site, engineering material, etc. Technology, example, operation, maintenance, technical support, etc. Impact, example, anticipated byproduct, the requirement for their treatment and disposal, etc. Two, institutional. This involves the ability and willingness of responsible agencies to operate and manage the system by evaluating the following. Structures, roles, and responsibilities, example, current institutional frameworks. Operational capacity, example, municipal capacities, local experience and staff training. Incentives, example, management improvement and waste disposal practices. Innovation and partnership. Three, financial. This assesses the ability to finance the implementation, operation, and maintenance of the system by evaluating the following. Financing and cost recovery, example, willingness to raise finance for waste management. Current revenue and expenditure on waste management. Potential need for external finance for capital cost. 4. Social. This helps in avoiding adverse social impact by evaluating the following. Waste picking has an impact on livelihood and access to waste pickers. Health and income implications. Public opinions on the existing and proposed system. Environmental. This means setting up an environment-friendly disposal system by evaluating the following. Initial environmental risks and the impact of existing and proposed disposal options. Long-term environmental risks and long-term implications, future impacts. Thank you. Happy learning. See you again.